Hey guys, John here, and welcome back to the series, How to Use Harmless. This is video two, and today we're gonna to be talking about the timbre section. So really our waveforms, this LHP, sub, equalizer, and the phase knob. So as usual, let's load up a default patch here, and let's check out the saw away. But first things first, with this patch, it always defaults with the frequency cutoff in the center and a little bit of the amount in the filter envelope. So let's bring this frequency all the way to the top and hit Alt and reset this, and it'll make sense if it doesn't, hopefully in a little bit later videos. Anyway, so in our timer section, we can click this list and we have all these different waveforms to choose from, which we're gonna demonstrate all of these at the end of the video. So let's start off with a saw and let's bring this down a little bit, not to hurt our ears. So we have a standard saw wave. Now, low harmonic protection is what this LHP stands for. So let's say you have a lot of filtering going on and it's, and it's interfering with the sub frequencies of this patch and you don't want that to happen. That's where this slider comes in handy. So if we add a little bit of sub, so if we play a note and bring this first slider of sub up, it's gonna add an octave right below the note that we play. And if we bring the slider all the way down of LHP and then start filtering like crazy, it's gonna cut it off entirely. And maybe we don't want that, so that's why we can drag this all the way up to the top here. And we could have the filter all the way at the bottom of the cutoff, and it's still gonna come through. And the slider is kind of to taste to see where you want it exactly. Here's all the way gone, and here's protected. So that's what that does. Moving on, we have the first sub, which I just, just explained, has an octave below the note that we play. Then here's the third harmonic of that sub. And we can see it here in our view, and then also in the EQ as well. And the fourth, you guessed it, the fourth harmonic. Pretty self-explanatory. Now moving on to this equalizer here, it's a little bit different than a standard equalizer that you might think of. So let's bring our frequency up just a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on here. So with this first one right here, this is basically controlling the level of the, the first note that you play, so the fundamental, and you can actually take it out entirely if you want to do that. So we see there, that's a fundamental, and pulling the slider down is going to remove it entirely. But keep in mind, this first one will affect a little bit of the second one, and the second one a little bit of the third, and third and fourth, so on and so forth. So here's the second. You can take it out entirely, or we can bring it up and kind of enhance it a little bit. Make it a little bit more present. Here's three. You take out four. Take out five. Take out six. And that's basically how that functions in a nutshell. So if we have these all back at default here, and let's take a look at this phase knob. So this is actually a very cool knob. So by default, it's all the way to the right, which means if we look at our tooltip, phase, ran phase randomness 100% running. So every time we hit a note, our saw wave is gonna pick basically a random spot to start the initial phase. It's not gonna re-trigger at the same spot every single time. If we want that, then we hold Alt and click it and turn that off. But the very, very cool part, so let's look at a lower note something like that, we turn it to the right. It's not too different because we have just a saw wave, there's nothing else really to interfere with it. But if we turn it to the left, we get that weird sound, a very metallic type of sound. And what's actually happening is very, very interesting. So once we hit this note here, all the harmonics, so all these little series up here, all the phase is gonna be randomized for each individual harmonic, resulting in that type of sound. Very cool. So let's take a look at our waveforms. Go back to default, let's bring your cutoff all the way back, hold Alt and clear our filter and bring this down. So our first waveform is gonna be our standard saw. Next up, we have a bright saw, brighter saw, defaced saw, defaced saw two, square tooth, square tooth two, which if you notice is actually not a square, see? If we look in the oscilloscope here, it kind of looks a little bit like Batman, right? So it's not actually a square. And moving on to mole. That shape is just kind of funny. And then we have double saw, which we can kind of see right there as well. And then triple saw, which seems to make sense. And then this, actually triple saw is one of my favorites to do a lot of cool grungy stuff, especially if we have triple saw in the phase all the way to the left. A little unison, but we're gonna save that a little bit for later. And the last one here, triple saw two. So that's all the stock ones. You can select custom if you have a really cool waveform that you might have created or no one's heard before that you could put in a song that nobody's heard before and make a million dollars and be the next cool thing. So 
that's pretty much what that button does. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the harmonic mask and what all this does, the mix knob, the LFO, all that cool stuff. So hopefully you stick around and we'll see you in the next video.